If you ever wanted to build an electronic lid screw like this for your metal lathe, I now have kits available for sale. Let's take a look what's inside this box. On-off switch, brightness potentiometer, nano microcontroller, plastic front panel with embossed buttons and adhesive back. On the back we have two M5 attachment points and four M3 screws that hold the case together. Now you can see the back of the main PCB, the terminals aren't attached yet, they need to be soldered, and there are two more M3 bolts holding the main PCB in place. Now on the front there is a screen and I can just push gently on the protective foil. This is the screen with the pins. First we solder the controller, it goes to the bottom side with the port looking out. <coughs> it's very easy to solder the terminals in place in the back of the case and then making these solder joints. On the front I would put the potentiometer in place, the switch, then goes the display. I would put it like so and make the solder joints over here for the display, for the potentiometer and here for the switch. And so here is how the main board looks when it's fully soldered together. The screen, the controller, terminals, on-off switch potentiometer. All that's left is to insert it back into the case, click it in. Now we just slide on the rear panel. Notice it's a little tricky to get this USB port to line up. Now that the rear four bolts are tight, all that's left is to put a cap and put this nut on the on-off switch. You can upload the program on the controller before assembly. This way you can test if the controller is working at all before soldering everything together because after soldering it's very hard to remove the controller if it doesn't work. On the top we connect the power and the ground. This should ideally go through the emergency stop button so that when something goes wrong you can easily stop all motion. Next four connections are for the encoder. On the bottom we have the ground, then 5 volts and then two signal lines for the encoder. And finally this goes to the stepper motor, on the bottom we have 5 volts signal and then 3 other signals, enable, direction and step. 5 volts coming to pulse plus, direction plus and enable plus, as well as shielding, and the signal lines going to negatives, so step goes to pal minus, dir goes to dir minus and enable goes to enable minus. Now we can fire up the controller, adjust the screen brightness, yep, it's working well, it also supports inches and uh, TPI, go left to right by setting negative pitch using this button. These buttons are for the limits, for adjusting the pitch up and down and for manual movement. So today I have about six kits that are ready for shipment. I have four more in the works and in terms of components, for some I have pretty good stock. Uh, 50, 70 kits for others, for example PCBs, I still need to order more and it will take some weeks for those components to arrive. The price of one kit is 90 euro or a little less than 100 dollars with free delivery. I am currently shipping to 7 countries. Thank you for your support that allowed me to get to this point. Please let me know what you think. Thanks for watching and see you next time.